Hey babes, happy Friday. So I wanted to share with you my journal that I completed yesterday. Um, it is a binder journal. Um, it's very shabby chic because I usually don't like shabby chic, but this is so pretty. <laughs> I really, really love it and I hope you love it too. So it was um, like an old um, photo album. And I actually got it from Selena. Um, and um, yeah, it's about, it's, I, I wrote down the measurements. It's eight inches wide and ten and a half long. So it's a nice size, not too big. Um, yeah, and I really, really love how it came out. And like I said, I hope you love it too. So yeah, let's get started. So I covered it with this beautiful shabby chic looking fabric. Um, that I had in my stash um, and I picked it out because of the paper collection that I wanted to use I'm gonna tell you now because I don't want to forget it is Blue Fern Studios and it's called Attic Charm um, let me see if I can grab one of the little <laughs> you know one of the little strips out the garbage um, yeah it's Blue Fern Studios and it's called Attic Charm so, just so you know, in case you're interested, I don't know if my camera picked that up at all, but that's what the paper collection is. Um, I am, whoever gets this, whoever takes this home is getting every piece of scrap <laughs> that's, that came with this. You're getting it all. Um, this did not make the cut. Let me just show you really quick. This is my second time recording this and I forgot to mention this, but... These are the rest of the scraps, so nice little pieces. You can make bookmarks, tuck spots, whatever you want to do with these little pieces. And this didn't make the cut. I just couldn't figure out where I wanted to put it, so I just thought I would send it. And you can either use it in here or you can use it in another journal. So this is my patty paper. Um, if you guys don't know, this is what the it's patty paper. It, it's literally patty paper, what they use in between hamburger patties. And I just took two and I stitched it to make a pocket. And then I used the Tim Holtz collage paper and just collaged it over there. And that's it. So it can be a beautiful pocket. You can add a little lace if you want, whatever you want to do. So that is coming with you along with a bunch of other goodies. As well as this fabric ruffle that I did not put on there. It was the leftover from here. Um, yeah, I just couldn't figure out where to put it. So maybe you have a place where you want to put it in, or you could put it someplace else in another journal. So there you go. And again, you'll get a whole bag full of other goodies to play with. So let's get into this journal. So I just have it tied with this pink satin ribbon. It has like a flex of gold in it. It's kind of sparkly. I hope the sun doesn't mess with my <laughs> flip through. I didn't have any sun the first time and I think it came out better. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. Um, and this little gem here is just from a old cheap necklace that I bought that I really bought for this. <laughs> so I just put it on here. Um, it's not pinned through the ribbon, so it's not going to punch a hole. I just kind of laced it through because it's on a bow pen. So you can Keep it on here or use it wherever you want. That is yours to do whatever. Okay, so let's talk about the fabric. So the fabric, um, the label at the bottom, let me just get all the fuzzies off. The label at the bottom of the fabric says Scotch Guard. And I'm guessing, excuse me, I'm guessing that means that it's like a stain resistant. I don't know because uh, I'm still learning about fabric. But it has like a sheen to it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it has like a beautiful sheen to it. Oh, you can see through this a little bit, mostly on the back. I think the back is actually supposed to be the front, but it didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter really. So and you probably can see this oval here, but that is the only thing you really can tell through the fabric. I don't think it takes away from the journal at all. In my opinion so for the lace there's a lot going on on the spine here okay so this is scallop lace here I actually have it on the back as well so this is two pieces the front and the back 
And then I cut um, another piece um, just to fill in the middle here. Um, and then I took this beautiful trim and I glued it and wrapped it around the spine. I don't know if any of that just made any sense, but that's what I did because I just really love how that looks. And so, yeah, so there's the back. So I don't know if you can see that old one in the back. And then I have the four book corners as well. So, yeah, let's get inside. So let me move it over. You can see, hopefully I'll stay in frame. So in this beautiful pocket that I can't take total credit for because I did not create this beautiful collage, I actually don't know who did. Um, I got a long, I was a long snippet roll um, that I was blessed with from someone and I don't remember who and I apologize. You guys have been so generous and blessed me with so much stuff that I really have a hard time keeping track. Maybe I should start label things. I don't know. But whoever sent me this and whoever created this, it's absolutely beautiful. So I just cut off a piece that I thought matched so beautifully with this page here. And then I filled it with some goodies by um, designed by LJB Instaprints. Guys, this is going to be filled with her ephemera. This is going to be my design team project because almost everything in here, I would say 98% is from her. So there's the mason jars and the tags that I shared in the last video. And then these are from her shabby, I think it's called shabby pink roses. I will always put the link down below of um, her uh her ephemera but what I did was I print I printed them on back on the back and the front oh my god I cannot talk <laughs> so you have like a little notepad um, just of the two different designs and I just punched a hole and added this beautiful brad here it's a little heart shaped brad so you can take it off you can glue it down on a page whatever you want to do that is extra journaling for you to enjoy Okay. All right. So, oh, and I didn't even say that I sewed on some lace. Look at this beautiful lace. Let me just fix it so you can get the full beauty of that. That is so pretty. I think I use all of my lace like this. I think I have a teeny, teeny bit left, but that's okay. It was worth it. <laughs> it was absolutely worth it. So... Stitch that on. I added some book pages from some of my floral books that I don't remember the names of. So I'm sorry for that. This is some vintage um, book paper, some notebook paper. Already yellowed, so I didn't have to do anything to it. Some coffee dyed paper. Um, these are the off cuts. All the off cuts are in here. Um, th actually, this one I think is upside down. It doesn't really matter, but I think this one is upside down. So I used my border punch, guys, this was so hard to border punch because this paper is really thick paper. Um, so I did a few of them with this border punch and the other ones you'll see I did different designs. I added some um, Beatrix Potter pages because look how pretty that looks. It just, it's like it was meant for this journal. It's so pretty. So this was a um, envelope that I made a while back using Edith Holden book page and I just collaged on it. Just take it off so you can see it. So there it goes. So just collage a little floral book pages and cheesecloth behind it. Added some lace here. And inside is just some cut aparts from the paper collection. Some sentiments you can put anywhere you want in the journal. Um, and again, this is from that same Shabby Rose uh, ephemera from oh well actually that is a journal that's a whole kit it's a whole journal kit that shabby rose from ljb insta prints and i printed them upside down on the back so yeah that happened <laughs> it still can be used you just have to flip it over i forgot i forgot somehow i don't know how it ended up doing that but it did all right 
try not to take too much time, but I want you to see everything. Another um, page from my floral book, another floral book. This is a digital, um, from a digital kit by Jody Lee. And it's just some pretty shabby, like collage, you know, handwriting, postage, ledger. And I just thought it was really pretty and it goes really well with this collection. And you can journal on it because it's so light in color. I did a little corner tuck here using some chenille by um, that I got from Laura at Laughing Dogs Book Nook. See, I said it slow, so I say it right. <laughs> and all the links will be down in the description box below, you guys. Here's her tag from um, LJB. This is a playing card that I believe I got from either Aaliyah or Danny. And this is Linda's. I'm just going to say Linda, and you know it's from LJB, okay? Linda's um, shop. So cute and then um, like I said the chenille and then this little applique it was from a long I think it was a tablecloth I don't remember who I got that from either I'm so sorry my memory sucks but I appreciate it you guys don't think I don't appreciate it because I don't remember who it was um, and then sometimes people send me stuff and they don't want me to say their name so that's another thing so this is a shabby um, floral you know rosette so that's a little tough spot there for all the goodies. All right. Again, you guys, one cup of coffee, so bear with me. <laughs> Here's another one of the offcuts, another one of the mason jars from Linda's shop. Um, I just took some leftover fabric and made a little altered paper clip. That's what you want to call it. And then here's one of her envelopes, Linda's envelopes, and I stitched around it just to give it a little bit more interest and one of her journal cards. Everything is backed with um, cardstock. And then I did a little corner um, punch here. How did I have, I have this like this, I think. All right. It's another page with some lace. This is that check and deposit paper, you know, I guess like from a, well, you know, keep track of your banking, I think. I don't even know. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> this is some ledger, not ledger, letterhead paper. These are just some off cuts from the paper collection. I just stitched it. Let me just take it off so you can see it better. I just stitched it, a straight stitch in the middle. And um, I did a little border punch just for some decoration. So you have like a little notepad. There's two of them in here. So thank you, Aaliyah. I got this idea from Aaliyah. So more journaling for you. Another Beatrix Potter page. So another little mason jar from Linda's shop. I used so many of her mason jars because I couldn't choose. Here's an altered paper clip. Just with some leftovers that I had, um, a button I sewed on, some more of that little piece of lace. There's some more of that trim of the last little piece I had, so I just stuck it on there just to make a cute little paper flip. And then on the back, I have, um, oh, I didn't even show you what was inside the envelope. This watering can, uh, watering can, but well, it does say watering can. This flashcard I got from Aaliyah, I believe. So thank you, Aaliyah. Again, I stitched this one as well. And then just a journal card from the paper collection. Look at my strings are so long. All right. I know the other one is probably not clipped on, but I'll go back and do that later. Some more of that notebook paper. Again, from Jody Lee. Um, some children's book page. I used some washi tape. My new washi tape I'm so excited about. Oh, I have to do a video about that anyway. But anyway, my new washi tape, I just thought it looked really pretty, that yellow. Because the edges was a little rough, so I added some washi tape. Another um, tag from her, from Linda's shop. Um, this is some stationery. And the back is plain. It's a little tag. And another playing card. I think I got this from Danny. And I did a chenille tab that I stitched on. 
So I don't even remember how I had this. I think. Okay, we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> so this is a page from um, another one of my floral books. So the opposite side had a lot of writing, but I wanted to use um, both of them. So I just stitched them. And so this is a pocket. So it made a pocket, I should say. So there we go. So you have two pockets to put more goodies in there. And then here I did a border punch that I stitched on and made a tuck spot and a little sentiment from the paper collection. Again, another one of Linda's tags. A page from my rose book. I love that rose book. <laughs> another one of those um, check-in balance. I don't know what they call it. Another page that I used my border punch on. Edith Holden. Always got to have Edith Holden. And I kept it um, bound. And then here I have one of her little tiny mason jars, a little sentiment, and this is a journal card from the paper collection. And again, another fabric um, paper clip up here. And here another sentiment and a flashcard that says Rose. Another page from my floral book. This I did not make. I got that in Happy Mail. It just has this cute little tag in there. So it's a little pocket. I sewed on another piece of chenille. Tiny little tag from Linda's shop. And tiny little mason jar. Small copy dyed paper. Another page from the children's book. Again, I added some washi tape. Another large tag from Linda's shop. And I did a decorative corner punch. Some more um, of the journal cards from the paper collection. And then in another um, place where you can journal. This paper is so thick that I always think I'm missing something. I did a, to uh, a, toner. <laughs> a corner tuck spot here like I did at the other one. Just a different color rose trim here. I mean rosette here. And then these are just from the paper collection. And then this is the handkerchief. Finally started using my handkerchiefs that I stitched on the coffee dyed paper here. So you can have some secret place to add some journaling if you want. Again, another one of the tags from Linda's shop. Here's another one of the little notepads. Another tag from her shop. And here is another paper clip that I made out of some scraps. This one came out, so as you can see, guest checks, pink and the blue ones for you to use. Another page from my floral book. And here's another of the pages, the off-cut pages. And this, these are um, the original pages that was in here. So I added about five of them in here. So if you want to add some photos or recipes or what have you, you can add the mare if you want. And so the back had a little bit of a like indentation. And so when I covered the paper, it was making the paper kind of buckle, I guess, and crease in places I didn't want it to crease. So I added this um, border here and added some lace. So it is a tuck spot. Just be careful because it is delicate. This is just cardstock. Um, and I just added one of um, the pages from Linda's Shabby Rose um, digital kit. So that's that. So that is it, you guys. There it is. How pretty. I really, really enjoyed this. I really had a lot of fun making this. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more binder journals. I think they're just so much fun. And um, I just really, really love them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like it. It will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, but probably by the time you see this video. 
Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll probably see you most likely tomorrow for Christmas in July. Thank you again for watching. All the links to everything and people that I mentioned um, will be down in the description box below as well as mine as well. So thank you so much and have a great weekend. Bye.